Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Yes. Okay, oh, here we go. I, I think I'm scared of this. Why are you scared I, of I this? I don't know. You are outnumbered. No, you should be. Oh, uh, nice. No. I like, I like her. No. Okay, so here's the deal. Some more women, right, they're waiting to have children, which means that many will go through perimenopause and menopause the same time that their children, they become teenagers. So E, the author of Shmurski, she's going to explain what that means, and that's why Raul's adjusting his tie, is here with more on what to do when puberty and menopause collide. Uh, if you have kids, maybe, you know, just scoot them off so we can, you know, have adult conversation right now. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. So excited to be here. Okay, so... Are the kids out? What does Schmirschke mean? Well, Schmirschke is what I call uh, my the JJ. Okay, that's nice. So uh, you um, have a Schmirschke and you are a Schmirschke. I am uh -huh. as a woman. Yes. Okay. And uh, so that's why I decided to call the book about perimenopause and menopause, Schmirschke, The Pursuit of Hormone Happiness. Okay, so how does this concept work? Because it involves hormones. Women understand it men deal with it definitely well here's the thing you should first know that you're not alone there are over 50 million women in menopause in North America and if you add all the husbands the lovers and the children to that there's 150 million people affected by perimenopause and menopause and you know what? We don't know enough about it. We're not talking about it. Well, let's talk about it. What age does this usually start at? Okay, perimenopause, which is a vocabulary word everyone should know, mm -hmm. is the six to ten years before you reach menopause. Okay. Menopause is when you've been without a period for a whole year. The average age for perimenopause is 41 years old. Wow. Yes. When you're young, Kicking, dancing, and often having a teenager in puberty. I have to wrap my mind around those numbers, mm -hmm. and I'm sure people at home are doing that. And women are waiting until a later age to have children. So what happens is now your kids are growing up, you're going through the hormone thing, they're going through the hormone thing. A perfect storm. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what, what do you do? How does, how does this, how do you work through this? Well, this is why I'm passionate about talking about this. I talk to anyone I can, the grocery store, the, the, the uh, security lines at Southwest Airlines, everywhere, at, to all ages. Mm -hmm. Because if you're prepared and you understand there's over 30 symptoms of perimenopause, sleeplessness, uh, memory loss, uh, weight gain, emotional highs and lows, and they're actually kind of similar to what your teenager is mm -hmm. going through. And when people go through a crisis in their life and these big changes, often we go within and we don't talk. We don't. But you say that there is, in, in your book, you explain that there's a, an opportunity for two to bond. Exactly. How do you do that, though? Because I remember when I was a teenager, oh! It was bad. It was really bad. Right. Well, I mean, I know my children thought I needed an exorcism. And, and fr frankly, I <laughs> felt like an alien had taken over my body, too. So you sit down and you talk about it. You, sit, you open up Schmirschke, The Pursuit of Hormone Happiness. You show them the chart. You start being vulnerable and saying, I don't feel good right now. I want you to understand what I'm going through. And then you'll find out that your teenager will open up too. They, will, they won't take advantage of the no, situation? No, they're going to open up too because frankly you can use this as a growth and a connection. Mm -hmm. And instead of personalizing every single rolling eyes and you know look that you get, understand that they're going through a lot. They're going through, just like you. Just what like you. Okay, so um, when you're going through this, because anger and frustration are those two huge emotions that I, I have talked to women that experience when they're you know dealing with menopause and then I was a teenager, I know that from, you know, dealing with that anger. So how can you not use that or not let that dominate this whole process? Well, again, I think it's all about this communication and reaching out for the support and the love that you deserve and actually sharing what's happening to you. Because if you aren't sharing, your teenager's not going to share. And, and I don't think that, what, uh, that teenagers actually understand that their moms are ever not fine. Yeah. They expect the moms, moms to, to be, be fine, fine and yeah. to be the ultimate caregiver. So it's okay to be vulnerable. 
Well, thank you for talking about this. E, uh, again, author Schmersky, she is having a book signing. So if you want to talk to her, she is at Warwick's in La Jolla uh, tonight. Tuesday. At, Tuesday, I'm sorry. Tuesday, March 22nd. 22nd at 7.30. So you can meet her. The book, again, is called Schmersky, The Pursuit of Hormone Happiness. And to reach E, you can get advice from a book, uh, obviously. All the information is up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Wonderful information. Oh, so great. Thank you so much for coming and talking about this. Raul, did you learn anything? Um, I'm trying to see if Words with Friends will accept Schmersky <laughs> as a... Raul! No, it won't. Bad. It, <clears throat> it won't. <laughs> okay, I have a bathroom. Thank you, ladies. 9.32 now. Carlsbad is named one of the top 10 amusement park destinations for families.